All right, back in Photoshop, and uh, let's look at the video again. And it looks like they've got little, like sparkles going in, like little swirls. Now, um, uh, Skyrim is uses Gamebryo, and uh, in Gamebryo you can do it all in Max and export it out. Uh, you can have the particles export right out of Max into Gamebryo. Um, I'm gonna have to experiment uh, with you to try and get the particles to do that like along a curve um, but for now we can just do it inside of the texture so let's see if we can get uh, um, some little sparkles in there so let's go back to Photoshop alright so I'm gonna go to file new again and uh, I'm gonna do 256 this time and let's make like a hot spot so like that and make a new layer and I'm gonna hold down shift and alt and click and drag to make a circle and select the white right click and go to fill and then I'm gonna go up to filter and blur and Gaussian blur and I'm gonna crank it up so it kinda gives like a fall off effect like that. And let's see what else. Uh, let's give it like little stars. So I guess what we can do here is select, uh, select the pen tool and make another layer. And click once. Oops. Click once. click once and twice and then you can actually right click and uh, we go back to uh, let's see I don't want shape I don't want that okay um, alright I want no style line Nope, I don't want that. Okay, that way, and then we should do something else. We shall open up Filter Forge again and get some stuff from that. So, uh, these are all stuff that I that I've made before. So, what happens if you if you if you've just uh, downloaded the program and you want to try it out? Okay, so what you do is you say click where it says Filter Library, download more filters. So you click that and the web page will open up and here you can type anything so let's right now let's type in uh, flares okay now this one uh, by Zoltan I'm gonna I'm gonna script your last name so I'm gonna say Zoltan um, this is one that I I used and then I modified it so I could use the alphas um, so what you can do now is you can do uh, open this filter in Photo Photo Forge, Filter Forge, and just click OK, and then inside of Filter Forge, it will um, download the filter that you can use. And there you are. There's the the glow. And if you want to see how it's built, you just go to the filter editor and click Open Filter and see how um, the user how this guy built it so it's pretty complicated uh, I'm not gonna mess with it uh, in this tutorial anyway there's a lot of tutorials online how to do it so for now we're just gonna I'm gonna play around with the settings so filter color let's see let's give it a blue and um, some more keep the glows white actually why don't we make it white because then we can always change the color in um, Unreal so we'll do white only and um, ring 
size, drop that down. We don't want the ring in there. That's good. Hit apply. And back into Photoshop. So there's our, our star. Now, I've also got this. Now, the star has a black background to it. So what you can do always do is you can drag it up, drag this one up to there. And now see, we're using our other layer that had a glow to it and give it more of a pop. But really, it's still too bright. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make another circle like so. I'm going to do uh, modify feather. I'll do 15 and I'm going to hit delete. Oops. Hit delete. Okay. Probably want to feather it a little more than that. So feather, feather. that and put that there. Now we're going to scale it in a little bit. There we go. And maybe there's a bunch of these inside, so we're just going to make another couple of centers. Scale it down and uh, make a bunch of them. So Alt, drag, make a little smaller one. Alt, drag. Uh, turn off snapping. Alright, let's see, that's good for little entities. Okay, so save as. Um, do. Call it. Uh, tendril. Entities. Okay, back to Unreal. Back to the. Content browser, textures, import, entities. Okay. Okay. Material. Go back to the material. Okay. And then we grab our texture. Oops. Drop our texture in. Okay, so right now it's just white, so we want to make them blue. So we're going to hit M for multiply, and we're going to type const for constant. Now constant 1 is black and white. Constant 2 is red and green. Constant 3 is red, green, and blue. So we're going to grab that in here. Put this into B. Put that into A. And we're going to crank up the blue. Messing with the settings right now. And so duplicate the control W is duplicate. And I'm going to grab a constant. Put that there. And now I'm going to up the value so it looks a little brighter. Probably make them rotate too, so rotate. Rotator. Let's see how they rotate. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm about to make it a little faster. There we go. So. 
Okay, so this one up here is the um, part of it, and then this one will be in the entities. Now, if you want to comment them, you hit C, or right, I'm sorry, right, uh, Control C. Where is it? New comment. Entities. Okay, and I'm going to add in, I'm going to put an add in there. Add. I'm gonna add it to B, and then this one to A since it's on top. Put that into a missive. And we're probably gonna have to uh, do the same thing with the, co the coordinates because the texture was gonna stretch. So, uh, duplicate this one over here. Now I just realized that the going to be going off the top, so what we can do here is is we can do the same thing as an add, but it's called a lerp, which is a linear interpolate, I think it's called. Um, so we can have this going into B, and this still goes into A, and then out of here, we can choose red, green, or blue, so I guess I'll choose blue. And now the balls are like falling off also. So they're not have a hard edge to them, see? Then they fade out when they come in. So let's hit OK. What does that look like? Um, not too good. They go in the opposite direction. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Back to Unreal. Yeah, the rotating thing is really screwing it up. So, you know what, let's just take away the rotator and uh, put the texture corner in there. And, actually, I'll take that off. There we go. And put the add back in. we could make them go a little slower so Now see right here it's got the hard edge to it. And I don't like that. Um let's see. See, unscripted is generally good. I make mistakes, so 
you can see my mistakes and what I'm doing and then hopefully you'll if you have the same issue you'll be like oh that's how we did it okay so let's uh, let's try that one There we go. It's a little better. It's going at different speeds. Still, the texture is still being um, stretched over the course of the of the of the of the model. Um, There we go. That's better. I think they're just the rotating thing screwed it up. Okay, so now, you know, we need to make a few more tendrils because otherwise they'll all look the same. So, um, like if I duplicate that and offset it. See, they all kind of look the same. They're all moving the same rate. So, let's go ahead and make another tendril in the same kind of way we made the other one. Um, I'll make that real quick, and then I'll come back, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on.